So Tiff Snooker's real big guns here going head to head. Mark Selby against Ronnie O'Sullivan. First of four reaches the final and O'Sullivan to get us underway in frame one. Joe Johnson among those looking forward to this one. You betcha. Yeah, when these two meet, always reminds me of <coughs> Alex Higgins and Steve Davis. Contrasting styles, but both those players always up for the the game between each other, as these two are. <laughs> well, looks like the first chance has fallen to Ronnie O'Sullivan. Played in two tournaments last year and still won £250,000. Oh, well, didn't get them all. Judging where the white is, though, he may have got a little kick. I expected him to get a better position than that. Yes, it's quite surprising, bearing in mind that both heavy scorers, these two, neither has yet made a century in the tournament. Down to the semi-finals. I know they're short matches, but uh, it's rather surprising. Maybe things will change in this match. It is one of those match-ups where, and of course they always want to win, but they really want to beat each other, these two. They're not necessarily best pals. There's a long record to matches between them. And sometimes at the start of a match, you see them, if anything, trying a bit too hard. Yes, both players trying to get in, weren't they? Last time he came to the table, trying that difficult pot. There's another one. This time it's gone in. It's interesting to see where the cue ball finishes. Yeah, he played for the blue, but look where it's finished, just in case he did miss. There was nothing left. The red didn't pass the yellow. And there was nothing down the other side of the table. Very clever thinking by these top players. Six. Seven. I wouldn't expect too much safety play in this match. Both of them know each other's ability very well and will want to finish each frame as soon as they get in. Twelve. You saw him just have a look, mate, to see where he'd like to be on that red to the left of the black. To release the black. 13. One. Jürgen Grusen, Germany, the referee in this all English battle. to make now he could go into them I'll play for that right just to the left of the black had to stay top side of the red maybe it's a little too far top side may have to play the cannon to the black now instead of the red
26. Nicely done. And he's got a nice angle on the black to develop the reds. Split nicely and is at least on one to the bulk corner, maybe one to the right corner. 33. Thirty-four. Well, they each had a couple of early chances. Mark Selby now hoping to make the most of this one, and he is a very heavy scorer. Just uh, five shy of 300 career centuries. Thirty-nine. And around half of that has come in the last three years. He made 54 centuries, then 55, last season 36. In the last three seasons. 40. That really is good stuff, isn't it? It looks like it means business here. 45. Yeah, like I say, he's got a good record against O'Sullivan, you know, the six wins, and they've all been big matches, two finals, two semi-finals, two quarter-finals. 46. It doesn't need to go into them here, although he has the perfect angle to do so. There is a red that will go to the same pocket he's playing the black into. <laughs> He's nicely on that red. 53. 54. Well, he'd be very disappointed to say the least if he doesn't win the frame now. He's not far away. 61 the lead with the black. 75 still on. Yeah, it's a wonderful shot there. Just developing the reds. 61. Nothing you can do about this. 62. Well, it's what you have to do to Ronnie O'Sullivan. You have to take the game to him, try and put him under some pressure, because he can certainly do that to anyone else. Pink, and he needs a snooker. Well, there's certainly something about Firth that he likes because he's won the title the last two years. Here he is again in the semis. 74. 75. Sullivan. <laughs> 82. 83. I think one of his great strengths is that if this form isn't there, he can still find ways to win. He can uh, scrap it out with the best of them. But when he's in top form, he's as good as anyone. <coughs> 90. Can start this. Yes, and a good angle on the black to develop the red. Ninety-eight. Well, I said neither of that a century in the tournament. Now Mark Selby has, and what a great break. 
Thanks there, Lloyd. One hundred and six. One hundred and nine. One hundred and thirteen. Had a great season last season, won this tournament. And of course also the UK Championship and the Masters. Just things just fell flat at the World Championship where he went out in the second round, but uh, he looks nicely refreshed in this new season. So not quite a total clearance, but a uh, terrific start for Mark Selby. Break of 118. This could be a real classic here. It's advantage Selby. He leads Romeo Sullivan. 1-0. Bad kiss on the yellow, a full ball kiss would have left the red on to the left corner. Thin on the yellow, this is opponent in trouble. What a tough shot that is. May have no option but to take it on. What a great pop that was. Couldn't do anything with the cue ball. It was too straight. What a great shot. Great cueing. Mark Selby, one. And the cue ball at the right side of the table to make things more awkward. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Possible plant to the left corner. It wasn't far away. It would have been unfortunate for the cue ball to go in after kissing the red. see what he thought of that shot it was a kick which took the pace out of the cue ball it would have been on the cushion without the kick and safe as it is there's a left, red left on and now Sullivan starts his account yes and he comes to the table I'm sure thinking right I've really got to make the most of this he's seen the form cell was in So often you see the, when the stars go head to head, they bring out the best in each other. And don't be surprised if, uh, well, if he clears the table. I've seen him do it plenty of times before. 701 centuries now to his name. 
74 behind Stephen Hendry, who of course has retired, although uh, if he made one in the World Seniors, Joe, against you, it would count. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't be saying things like that, David. <laughs> Ten. Eleven. Yeah, I fully agree with you, though. When a player's playing well, it normally brings the best out of the opponent. Only O'Sullivan is the type of guy to respond in that way. Eighteen. control of that one maybe it was a big bounce I'm sure he played for the red into the left corner good pot but he's not on a colour That one over, and a tap on the table from Ronnie O'Sullivan. <laughs> oh, what a great pop! Where did, where did you get that one from? Just seem to slot it in as always what? easy. And look where the cue wall was, the jaws of the pocket. And he spent almost no time looking at it. He got down and knocked it in. Yeah, and he didn't... It wasn't as though he was playing it as a shot to nothing. He kissed oh. red, so... It was a dangerous shot to take on, but... That's Ronnie O'Sullivan for you. Six. Choice of blue or black. As Joe mentioned, uh, he only played two tournaments last year, of course, one being the World Championship. This season he's committed to at least ten. And uh, the amusing thing about that, of course, a few years ago, he, there weren't that many to play in. So although he's, he might be playing in fewer than the other players, it's still more than he was maybe five years ago. And of course, while he's World Champion, he's still number two seed in all the tournaments. Which is unfortunate for number 16 seed. 12. He gets pushed down to number 17. See if the black passes the red into the left corner. Twenty. Well, apparently it didn't. So Mark Selby played what looked like a good safety, but uh, he may not come back to the table. Yes, it was a, a cracking safety shot that he played, because it was under the cushion himself. 
34. Well, he needs uh, another red after the blue. Battle is joined. Forty-eight. Not quite enough on for a century, but still a very satisfying contribution from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Fifty-six. Still a shot to develop the red. 64. Well, 64 will do. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 64 in the front. Just a terrific ready potted to start that break. And uh, as I say, battle joined. This is shaving up to be a real classic here in Germany. Mark Selby won, Ronnie O'Sullivan won. And four required for victory. This is the third European Tour event O'Sullivan's played in this season. He got to the semi-finals of the first one in Bulgaria last week in Doncaster, lost out in the last 32. That was an interesting shot O'Sullivan played there. Freed the black, could have put his opponent in trouble playing off the pack of reds, going into the bulk area. Chose to free the black. Again, a clever shot there from Mark Selby. Took the red on, but played that cue ball into a position where reasonably safe. This time, well, that's opened things up. to the left corner then. Nicely played. That little flick on the red. It's just spoil One. things slightly. Great pot. Good roll up. Very difficult to roll up behind one of the bulk colours from the bulk cushion. I'm not 
sure if he played to hit that red, but it's worked out okay. said worked out okay but that's not taken into consideration great pots like that and a wonderful pot well it's incredible some of the balls that have gone in already in this match good job he did looking at the cue ball not this time though Fox Ellie. one <laughs> Well, there was real pressure on that ping. He knew he was leaving reds on. What? Gerald Green, 2-0 now against Ali Carter. Great start for him, great tournament for him. just to the left of the black if it passes the black into the right corner that would free the black Three. another very good positional shot Well, a delicate operation for Jürgen Grusen, the referee, to get the ping in. Yes, it's up to mark one of the reds to be able to get the ping there. Doesn't go on its own spot, so as close to its spot as it can do. Well, we welcome viewers joining us in the United Kingdom on British Eurosport semi-finals of the Paul Hunter Classic 16. and it's turning into a classic this match Ronnie O'Sullivan and Mark Selby Selby made a break of 118 in the first frame O'Sullivan a very good 64 in the second and he's as you can see O'Sullivan at the table here in the third it's first to four who reaches the final Well, anybody hurt? 25. He's on the pink. But it's a tough one. <laughs> Just correct in, but that'll do. Certainly, neither player is holding back. They're going for their shots. 31. And O'Sullivan now has got himself into a good position here to take the lead. 32. 
a bit sticky this morning though against Anthony McGill. That went down to the colours in the decider, but he came through 4-3. That wasn't on the show table. And he did say afterwards that the conditions were markedly different on 37. table two than this one. Mark Selby had one decider. That was against Martin O'Donnell yesterday. Forty-four. Forty-five. Well, it must be tight, this black. It's taking the pink. Fifty-one. Fifty-two. He leads by fifty then. Fifty-five with the blue, so one more red needed. Yes, it shouldn't pose a problem for him. The red by the block area, in the block area. A little rub. Sixty three. Sixty three the break, sixty one the lead. Mark Selby concedes, so two on the spin from Ronnie O'Sullivan, it's been a high standard so far between these two, I'm sure it will continue in that vein, O'Sullivan leads Selby in Germany by two frames to one. Mark Selby uh, was of course a runner up to Mark Williams in Rotterdam, so he's already looking good to qualify for the grand finals. which is a big money event at the end of the season, one last uh, season by Ding Jun Wee. Yes, with these two play safe, that's a good safety. Tap on the table there, and Mark Selby appreciating how thin he had to hit that red to get that line of shot. And an intended kiss on the red, caught the reds too thick. At first glance, it's not too bad. There is a red that will go to the left corner. It wasn't a gimme, but where's it going? Oh, so close to going in. Well, all sorts of oohs and ahs, the crowd getting involved. We've seen such good potting in the match. It is a surprise when you see them miss. But of course, that is what makes it so exciting, this game. You never know what's going to happen. I'm sure Selby was fearing the worst there, but he has a chance now.
13. The black, well, and truly tied up for the moment. It does look like the pink will go to the middle and corner. Yep, there's confirmation. 14. Well, he's the wrong side of the blue, and he'd prefer to have saved that red over the bulk area. But it looks like he's going to have to take it now. Twenty. A little hard for the blue. And a, a little grimace. Not quite hard enough for the pink. Twenty-five. Didn't get any closer than that, David. No, but uh, more important is what's underneath. Two-one. Just run out of position. And he'll be disappointed. Twenty-five. Getting the wrong side of the blue cost him. Quick. Probably the worst safety shot he's played so far. Sounded kicky. Is it going to finish? Not good. Mark Selby. Rub on the blue just took him the wrong side. And it missed it. Would have been easy to come back down the table for the Reds. <coughs> just trying to pinch a little on the pocket, and you can't right do that with these seven. middle pockets. And he's got the desired position.
frame's gone a little scrappy, the pink and black tied up. But these frames are just as important as the ones with big brakes. stage of the game with the blue, pink and black in difficult positions, 20 is a good lead. Right here, one. He could have left this cue ball hampered over the yellow there. Chance to leave it dead on the cushion. More close to it. Well, this is a bit old school now, isn't it? But they're both excellent safety players. O'Sullivan hasn't always had the patience for it, but uh, when he does, he's as good as anyone at that side of the game. it it's gone over the middle trying to develop One. the pink and black radio Sullivan could have played that one better. <laughs> no safety from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Should have had that cue ball tight on the cushion from the green. Difficult table. Could maybe push the yellow to the cushion or the brown. Mark Selby, one. Meanwhile, Gerard Green 3 0 up now against Ali Carter, so Green just one frame away from tonight's final.
was a risky plant to take on and leave the cue ball down this end of the table. You must have thought he was going to get that one. Yes, it was spot on to the pocket, but the balls were some distance apart. Free the black as well. to play. Well, get the red Runner first. Seven, Twelve. Looked like the red just dipped a little onto that right knuckle. I get a chance to see that again, but it did seem to turn a little. to open these reds. But if it just rolls into them, it's going to be a lot, big distance away from the next shot. It's awkward queuing over the brown if he takes the green on. Could roll in behind the brown, bring the yellow off the cushion, bring the blue off the cushion. There's plenty of shots he can play. Running with some of the brown. Well, it started off this as a free-flowing big break uh, kind of match it's this frame's gone cagey that's just because where the balls have ended up well that's why I give so many options the last time round because it looked it always looked as though it could escape from the snooker was it worth having the yellow from the audience but had to catch that red ultra thin big frame as well you know 3-1 or 2-2 in a best of seven big difference so pressure really on Mark Selby
seem to be a big bounce off the cushion as well. on this red. Well, he's not taking it on, but I thought he would have took it on, played the snooker if it goes in. Mark Selby was very unfortunate not to finish on the colour. After a great pop like that. Mark Selby, one. So, eight points in it on the last red. What a battle this frame has been. It's like a match within a match.
a half chance. But it's finished up okay. Sullivan, that is. Brown's in a good position for him. It's going to be difficult to win the frame at this visit. Nine points in front. One thing that makes a slight difference, he doesn't need the blue. Selby. Selby, that is, of course. And that's in a pretty horrible position. And so is this. This is very difficult. Hard to get safe, hard to pot. It was difficult to play a shot there. Right, we had to Selby. go for the pot. The safety was just as difficult. As David said a moment ago, the blue in a horrible position, but the brown not much better. Oh, but get the yellow first. That right hand side that he had on the cue ball there just turned the cue ball into the yellow. Well, it's been a, a nerve jangling frame. This is, still is. Bounces looking at the cushion. Well, it's been that sort of frame you knew it wouldn't be straightforward. Mark Selby. So he leads by 20, oh. 22 on. to bring the blue into play but he's left the brown on yeah I guess that was the risk playing that shot it couldn't guarantee where the brown would finish and the brown is all Selby needs snooker to tight. Sorry, if he pots the blow, that is. Didn't want to leave it over the middle. Mike Selby, four in the front. Look where the black is. Yep, he's great. Well, it was an epic, wasn't it? An epic battle, that frame. It's fallen in the end to Mark Selby. A real thriller here, and we're level again. Two frames all don't go away. We'll be back very shortly with frame five. In Furt, it's 2-2. Two -two. And uh, don't forget Mark Selby has won this title for each of the last two years. He's looking to complete a hat-trick, and that's not a good break-off from O'Sullivan. Catching the blue. Well, you don't see that often. And he's left a chance for Mark Selby. One. 
six. Overcut it. Mark Selby, six. And I think the red will pass the red into the corner. to the reds, he'd have the insurance of that red over the corner. switches from hand to hand but he's a little heavy on the black to an angle we've definitely seen just from this match he still loves playing snooker he might not love playing it every day of the year but he loves battles like this against 15. players uh, he respects. Now, looks like there's a plant to the right corner. Made that look easy. Stun run through off the cushion. Another look at the plant. Forty six. Good plant. This is about ten more reds. So attempting to go into them. Fifty-one. You'll be disappointed, I'm sure, with that. There was a big target. So Fifty-one. The break. Unfortunate, really. He took the plant on. I'm sure he expected another, at least one more red to come out. But as David said, it was a big target for Ronnie O'Sullivan, that is. Mike Selby bringing the only difficult red off the cushion. Cue ball near to the cushion. And he's going to be in trouble. One. 46 the lead. He's competed uh, so well here, O'Sullivan, in all departments. He's having to. He knew this would be a battle.
worked out as planned. She caught it a little thick. with the rest. <coughs> so I suppose you could count that as a let off from Mark Selby. can get to the red and the black and pink's available well that puts him as you see, 54 in front. So it's a couple of balls away now from going back in front. And uh, there was no negative reaction from O'Sullivan to losing that long fourth frame. He's just got on with the business here. And it looks like he's going to go back in front. Especially now. Yes, he needed that red. Back to the table. One super, Mark Selby. 24. What a great match this has been so far. 24. Three of the six times that. Mark Selby's beaten O'Sullivan, the bin in deciders. 32. He's going to have to do that again to prevail for a seventh time. 33. He's uh, a master of brinkmanship, though, so don't be surprised if he does level it, level it up at 3 3. <coughs> but at the moment, it's advantage O'Sullivan here in Furt. 40. He leads 3-2, and he needs one more, he'll be in tonight's final. Can Mark Selby force a decider and take us the full distance? We'll find out in frame six, that's coming up right after this short break. Maintaining safety shot there. Now pass back to Bork. Mark so we can see the red in Bork. Choosing to keep things absolutely tight down this end of the table. Could be a re rack. Mm. 
Well, they've already decided. <laughs> Sensible, really, that was going nowhere with the red down and ball. Mark Selby who decided it, so Jürgen Grusen will set them up again. I don't know why they don't know why that got a round of applause in the rebound. <laughs> Easy to please. I think it's because they decided to do it so quickly. <laughs> well they're There's enthusiastic. No point, no point messing about. No, I agree. Uh, and it's good to see you. You know, sometimes it's early in the past, you know, it's a bit of bravado. I'm not gonna suggest it, you can suggest it, but uh, it was Selby there who <coughs> said, Well let's just start again and that's what they're gonna do. Thank you, frame six. Mark Selby to break. So it's take two in frame six. Mark Selby to break, having uh, frame having been re racked the first time. I saw a match years ago, Joe, at the Welsh Open between Dennis Taylor and Gary Wilkinson. Frame was re racked after 57 minutes. You can imagine what was going on in that frame. Good shot. And then he said, oh, needs a good kiss. And that's not too bad. One choice said brown or yellow. I was just thinking, I wonder if they got a round of applause, David. They did from me. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. So Sullivan first in in the frame he needs to win. Not quite a century in this tournament yet. This would be a good time to remedy that. <coughs> Six. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, could you please not use any flash while you're making photographs, please? Thank you. <coughs> Alternatively, don't take pictures while the players are playing. Eleven. Well, they could have split better. Can pop this red to the left corner, but he's going to have to play it at pace. And that always adds to the shot. Eleven. <coughs> Anxious looks to see if he's left the red on. Slight swerve. Nicely done. Couldn't control the cue ball like he would have liked. Did ever so well to pot the red. Well, Ali Carter, you can hear applause. A lot of people watching the other match, and uh, Ali Carter's pulled the fifth frame back, it would seem. There's a long way in front in it. So it sounds like it's gone 3 2 there. We'll confirm that for you when we get the score through. Yellow. Three. And he's got good position on the red. That's the red he played for. Didn't hold back there. And just to confirm, it is 3 2 green over Carter. So Carter's won the last two there. Positional shot. Seven. Eight. <coughs> Has he come too far? 
15. Another slight swerve. Oh, he's come too far. So he's going to have to swerve that white ball ever so slightly if he's going to pop that. Maybe too much of a swerve. No, just the safety. He can't afford to take the risk. Mark Selby, 15. But it's a good safety. Game from where it was, that's an excellent safety <laughs> appreciated by his opponent. back to Bork, so it's going to have to come off a cushion and land up into them. And it's not straightforward with that red at the back of the pack there. from the audience, they must think they can get this red. Swerve again. Just caught it a little thin.
You know, I can't clean it with your cloth. Yeah. I'll be happy to clean the wipe for you. No, if you clean the wipes, it might stop the bounce. Can you want to clean it? I can only do it with the gloves. Yeah, sorry. Well, O'Sullivan wanted him to clean the cue ball with his own cloth, and Jurgen Grusin said he can't do that. Players aren't allowed to clean the ball either. Years ago, Alex Higgins used to lick it clean, but that's uh, that was the old days. <laughs> yes, I remember Rex Williams putting it in a, a bowl of water in between frames to stop the kicks happening. There seems to be a general feeling among players that the balls that they're using are a little on the light side. And uh, we do get a lot of kicks and bounces, and uh, just wonder if that's worth investigation. off that black cushion and it's worked out very well for Ronnie O'Sullivan <coughs> caught it too thick Definitely a chance. One thing you've got to say, his focus hasn't dropped at all. There's been uh, some scrappy playing amongst the breaks, but he's stuck to his task, he's competed. Yes, that was down to the good safety from both players. 14. Twenty. One frame in it, but as you see, O'Sullivan uh, over a hundred points to the good on the aggregate. points in front. He needs to open these reds. really well, isn't he? Two. 
43. Needs one more red. Make sure. Yes, he leads by 46 with 51 on, so this red Mark Selby is going to require 50. snookers. Well, it's been a really enjoyable match, this. But uh, perhaps not so much for Mark Selby. No, it's a shame there's got to be a loser in a match like this. Both players have played well. Just looking at the score, but he's, as you see, 54 in front, so 50. three snookers. I'm sure Selby will play on. There's a chance of the free ball. Well, what am I saying? Just, just not seeing that red, as if it's over the hole. <laughs> what a terrific pot. <laughs> OK, fair enough. <laughs> there won't be any playing on. Superb stuff. Ronnie O'Sullivan then into another final for world champion. Ends Mark Selby's great run here in Firth. He's won the title the last two years. He won't be winning it in 2013 though because Ronnie O'Sullivan wins a terrific match. Great contest that between two great players. He gave it everything in the end. Ronnie O'Sullivan just that little bit stronger. We'll see him in the final later on tonight. Mark Selby couldn't force that decider. So it's Ronnie O'Sullivan who prevails. He's a winner here in Furt by four frames to two.